Hi Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the time period of August 21st through September 21st. My apologies for the delay. I was trying to get the readings out to you guys um, mid-August, like the middle of August, the very middle. Um, I'm kind of at the end of the middle, <laughs> so I'm just going to make the, t the time period for um, Virgo season, or at least close to Virgo season. So, of course, these energies can be felt before that or, you know, way after that. So it really just depends. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, or Rising, um, or Venus. Uh, I am, again, also my apologies for having them delayed. Um, I am away right now, so I had to do like a whole new setup here and uh, try to get adjusted. I don't usually do my readings in different places, but I really needed a little vacation. So, um, okay, so we'll get started with your reading. If this reading does not resonate for you, I only give a very simple message. You can always request a personal reading from me. Um, at moonpietarot.com. Just go to my website and you can um, look at the pricing specials, pick the reading you like, and then book it. And you can pay right from there as well. Okay, so Scorpio, let's see what your energies are for love for August 21st, I gonna say the 23rd, um, through September 21st. Okay. So we have the Three of Rods. I'll try not to shuffle too much. I know you can always fast forward through the shuffling. The Devil in the Challenge position. And Benefit, although I'm not sure how that could be a benefit. Seven of Cups. I don't pull reversals. The Three of Pentacles in the recent past, which would have been mid-July to mid-August or before. The Six of Rods crowning you. The Five of Rods in your near future. Two of Cups, position of you. The Three of Swords, position of the other person. Try and um, see if I can move these away or make them. Sorry for the glare, too. I have overhead lighting here and I just can't fix the lights. So, the Knight of Cups, your hopes and fears, and your outcome, these two cards pulled up. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. Okay, so your overall energy during this time period is the High Priestess and you know what's going on with the High Priestess here is um, you being very intuitive right now about something in your love life um, there's probably some secrets or some kind of a, a mystery that's not been solved yet maybe something that you know you're kind of like looking into you don't fully understand or you're not fully grasping you're 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 trusting yourself and your intuition but there's something that remains hidden and this could be within you or within another person that you don't have the full picture or you're not fully understanding something. Something is a mystery to you and you can't seem to figure out exactly what's going on during this time period. Okay. Um, your recent past, you have the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles talks about, you know, maybe teamwork or this card can be an, a, an apprentice card. So there could be something about starting something new, a new uh, maybe a new relationship or, or trying to figure out uh, how to go about making something work and maybe learning from others or it could be something new that you're dealing with in your life that you know is kind of like you're not sure about it you're you're you may be 
You may be relying on help from others since this is a three card. There may be maybe another couple or there may be two other people that you are asking for help uh, to, or at least you were in the recent past asking for help to try to figure out how to accomplish something or how to make something work or how how to do something okay um, or how to be if you're single how to be in a partnership with someone maybe this is you know maybe you've been single for a while maybe you were in a relationship for some time before and you've been on your own for a while so maybe there's there was new energy in the past uh, that you were asking yourself can you do this this is something that's new for you or was something that was new for you that could have happened now so you've got a three here and then you have the three of rods another three card here so the three of rods bringing you into your present situation is this is talking about it's really just saying again it's another teamwork card um, so there's other people may be involved in a relationship now I'm not saying that there's a third party affair or anything going on like that but there could be uh, some of you Some of you may be interested in someone or with the devil card, very magnetically attracted to someone who could be involved with someone else or uh, is this could be your partner uh, if you're just dating and, and hopefully there's not infidelity. I don't really feel like there's infidelity happening here. Uh, you could have a spouse or the person you're dealing with could be involved with other people okay and with this devil card can be some possessive energy so the three of rods let me try not to skip all over the place the three of rods is really just about um, sometimes it could be about travel you know um, looking out into the distance maybe trying to figure out some of you could be in a long distance situation with someone or you and your spouse could be trying to make something work in a relationship or you know spouse or partner partnership and maybe discussing going away or taking a trip okay um, expanding perhaps your relationship in some way capitalizing on it in some way or trying for some of you trying to figure out how to get out of a relationship that has you with this devil card very stuck okay there's a very there's a huge magnetic attraction happening <clears throat> either coming from you and someone is trying to either may have been trying to make something work but decided perhaps then that they're not going to try anymore and maybe they're trying to relo relocate or move themselves away from travel away from the relationship but either way whether it's you or the other person or you're trying or there's this energy of trying to make it work um, and and looking out yonder trying to see the future of a situation of a relationship this devil energy is really constricting okay it doesn't have to be negative constricting in a negative way but the devil energy has a compulsory energy about it so some of you may feel compelled to be with another person or there's another person who feels compelled to be with you or you both feel that way okay um, now if you are just strictly single and you want to know if someone else is coming forward there is a possibility there could be someone coming forward that but it's more so that you're hoping okay um, and I'm not I don't know if I said this already I said this in the Libra reading I've, 
I don't really like to place signs on the major arcana cards. So if, you, if you're a connoisseur of tarot and you want to place signs to them, you only have the devil card and the high priestess. So if you want to place the sign to that, you can while you're listening to the reading, but I really don't want to go down that road. I just really want to stick with the court cards. Um, just because a major arcana card r runs, you know, is ruled by a planet, it still doesn't necessarily mean that this, this is a player because these are the people. These are just energies. At least that's how I prefer to do it at this point now in time. So go ahead and if you want to add the Capricorn to it, you can. It's up to you. But what I really feel like as far as these two threes, some of you may have competition um, and this compelling energy that you may be feeling or another person may be feeling is causing both of you to either try to figure out how to make something work and seeing into the future about it or, or in looking off into the distance and seeing if there is a future for both of you, but it's absolutely, or, you know, even if it was a breakup, um, revisiting it again and trying to figure out if it could work, okay, because some of you are single and maybe not with another person, but you can't seem to get them off your mind, and, and you may be hoping or trying to find a way to make it work again. It could be that, or the other person could be doing that with you. Now you have the Seven of Cups here, which is the root of the reading. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Always when I start talking, I, you know, this happens. So the Seven of Cups is, you know, you may have or there, there may be this energy either from another person or from you where there's too many options or there's commitment issues, okay, or there's overindulgence, um, gambling, drinking, and I know that usually shows up with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, but I feel like, you know, you or another person may have a lot of options and you're, you may be feeling compelled to be with someone at this point or another person feels compelled to be with you because there's competition and not because you really want to because you know you are probably not ready at this point in time like you are you want something but what's just driving you right now is you're not sure it's like you you don't want to lose someone or another person doesn't want to lose you but you're trying to keep your options open and unfortunately Scorpio you can't have your cake and eat it too it just does not work that way eventually what's going to happen is you're going to lose out okay because even if you constantly are having your cake, I mean, you can only eat cake for so long and then you get tired of cake, you know, and, you know, look at this card. You can see that these options here, they're not even tangible. They're just like illusions. And, and so you may just be fooling yourself, telling yourself that you don't really want to commit or or the other person is saying this, or someone's coming after you and you're not ready because you think you have a lot of options, but, or at least you are living your life in the way where what drives you is having so many options, but you're kind of like confused. I feel like you're maybe trying to hold on to a situation. This devil card is a challenge for you, but it's also a benefit because whomever the person is that you're trying to hold on to, this is someone that is a good match for you because you have the Two of Cups here in the position of you. It's like you know it, you know, but you are just too busy looking at all these 
illusions and these visions of grandeur, you know. Um, and that's for some of you, not all of you. Some of you really could be feeling something in a relationship or in a situation with another person and just very much, you know, trying to make things come to fruition. As I said, the Seven of Cups is, you know, looks up at the cups and sees that there are so many options and choices. Um, but again, this does have to do with commitment issues. So it may be something that you need to just check with yourself. You're trying to be victorious in whatever this situation is, absolutely. Or the other person as well could be trying to be victorious. They're trying to win with the Six of Rods. The Six of Rods is, you know, gaining recognition or receiving good news or being the boss. So it is possible that, you know, you may have another person who wants to try to make something work with you or feels very optimistic, um, but they may feel like you just have too many, maybe you're just, you. they may not feel like they're the number one option. They may feel like that there's a lot of different options and you're not going to commit and they're trying to be victorious about that. Or it's you. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, struggling with, again, I'm going to show you the card, struggling with these illusions. Okay, so, sorry, I'm going to fix my camera. I'm so raw <laughs> anymore, like early. Okay, so the near future position, you have the five of rods. Okay, this is a playful energy with another person. It's funny, I heard one of my uh, favorite tower readers describe, she uses these cards and I think she probably watches my readings. Um, and when I say what she said, she'll go, oh yeah, it's me, she's talking about me. So I love how she described this card. She said, this is a very playful energy. It's not serious fighting um, because if it were, that cat wouldn't be there. <laughs> she said, because animals, whenever there's trouble, they scoot. So I like how she described that. I thought it was cute. I'm not really a big cat person, but I love animals regardless. And she's right about that. This five of wand energy is, it's sporty. It's playful energy. You know, it's arm wrestling. That's not too competitive. So there could be like some, and I was saying to you before, there was this competitive energy that may be showing up here and may be the reason why you're holding on very tightly to another person or another person is holding on tightly to you because they feel like they have to compete for your attention or vice versa. However, um, their, either yours or their competitive nature is really just more playful. Um, they're not too much, they're, they're not too serious really. Um, it's more just fun and games, I feel like, and that could be coming up. There could be either you're competing for their, their loyalty or their love or they're competing for yours, okay? Whether this is someone new coming in or someone that you're presently dealing with. And so back down to you, you have the Two of Cups. So whomever the person is, you have someone that you're dealing with or someone on your mind if you're single. The Two of Cups energy, this is, you know, romantic love. This is a partnership. This could be a proposal or marriage. And this could be something that you may be wanting uh, or thinking about doing or it could be driving you in this situation right now where you may want to make a proposal to another person or make an offer of some sort. Proposal doesn't have to be marriage. Proposal could just be a proposal to take a trip or a proposal to spend more time together or a proposal to deepen the relationship or, you know, or a proposal to get married. Anything within that realm that would make you feel successful because you're Scorpio and you like to win and you are competitive by nature. I don't feel like with this person you're just like the kind of competitiveness where you're going to win and then rub it in their face. I don't feel like, I mean you, you Scorpios do have, 
you do have that in you, but I don't feel like you have this in you with, with a particular person. I just feel like you want to win. I really do. And But just ask yourself, why? Are you, are you trying to win someone over because you just want to win? Or are you winning them over because you truly do feel equality with them? Or you feel like this is your other half? You know, so you have to ask yourself that question. And I feel like that's rolling more for you guys than the other person. Um, and it's just kind of a blend of both. Now, what's external to you and the other person? It seems like, it seems as if this person, I feel like I have to sneeze. And I don't know if that's significant of anything. I try not to read it too much in the things but this three of swords energy coming from them this person may have maybe feeling like leaving this situation or leaving a relationship or you know or is thinking about it okay they have this on their mind and I don't necessarily assign the three of swords to physical action because swords are about our thoughts they're about what we reason. It's uh, it's mental energy. Okay, so I feel like there could be this person could could discuss with you that maybe you and them should not be together, or there should be some type of a break. Okay, and you know this isn't a future position. Okay, this is a future position. And I'm sorry that you can't see it because of my camera. This is a future position and the outcome is a future position, okay? So this energy could be coming through and be the reason for why all this is happening, okay? So maybe there's a, maybe you're going to be acting a certain way because you fear losing someone because you're going from the, the Two of Cups to the Three of Swords, you know? So this could be the reason why uh, there's a threat to losing another person and with the three card it could be losing them to somebody else or them just walking away having a change of heart taking a different path you know there's your argument there is their argument and then there's the truth okay so this energy could be playing out at this point it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen I don't really feel like it's my place to predict whether or not someone's going to break up and I don't often see this as a breakup card I often see this as more so because it's sword energy about argument or discussion about ending something now your hopes and fears is the Knight of Cups. So you could be hoping that whomever you're dealing with, and this could be a water sign, either hoping you'll be able to make a proposal or an offer of love, uh, fearing that it could be rejected, or hoping that they will, or fearing that, you know, they won't. Okay, so, but again, this position is the hopes and fears. And I don't place, again, too much weight in that it's just feelings right so it doesn't really mean that anything's going to happen your outcome looks good though but the nine of cups I'm sorry it's blurry again I just can't keep fixing it a million times the nine of cups is um, just this energy now usually in the Rider Waite deck this is just one man sitting with all his cups behind him and sometimes it could be the bachelor card uh, there is a chance for some of you that if you're male listening you could just decide to stay single and really just not put forth any energy towards the end here uh, or whenever the end will be that could be for some of you for others this is having your wishes come true okay and having abundance having good health I'm not gonna go with the single this because when I look at this card I feel like this is two people who are having their wishes come true and there's family all around celebrating this is not to me a bachelor card who's out dating because you know I don't know look at there's like a little kid on his shoulder and this looks more like family and joyousness and happiness right so I feel like um, 
And this card is more indicative, and at least what the message, the energy I'm feeling is that this is a joyful, happy either reunion or um, emotional contentment, emotional fulfillment. That's really how I'm feeling about this. Okay. Um, and then you've got the, the Four of Cups, and which is why I'm saying that it's not really a bachelor or bachelorette, male or female, whichever you are listening, why I'm saying it's not really a dating card because here's dating offers coming in and you're indifferent to them now at this point. So you you actually may come to realize that you truly do care for someone, that you're not really trying just to win them over because you feel threatened and they I feel feel the same way. Okay, so there is this energy where you will I feel like you you there is a possibility you could wind up getting what you want during this time okay and that you could be victorious in this situation with the six of rods because this is a card of victory and this is what you're planning this is what you want um, and it's and it, you know I I don't want you to take offense when I say um, that you're winning just to win because there are some signs like that will win just to win, but you're deeper than that. And and I should have clarified more. Uh, you do like to win. You are competitive, but you won't just try to win at anything um, only just to win. When you put your heart into something to win, I mean, you play with passion. You're passionate about it or you just won't do it. You You feel the need to... You're just not smug like that, and I and I don't mean to come across that way, uh, especially for you ladies, because I know that you have a lot of confidence within you um, when it comes to competing or having what you want, especially in a relationship. Okay, so so even if there is someone coming in as well, um, they could be another water sign for you with this Knight of Cups here. But either way, I feel like it's, you know, you have this winning attitude about this situation and you do feel like this is someone that you can partner up with or even the person that you are currently with, you do feel positive about the outcome. Um, if you are reuniting with someone or you are trying to just reestablish your position in your marriage with another person to try to make it better uh, you're not giving up that's that's really the message that's coming through if you, if, if an ex returns you, you you may give them another chance for some of you I know there's some of my Scorpio listeners I'm like I am not taking that person back no way blah 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 and okay I'll I'm sure your comments will be there but for some of you, there could be um, a reuniting. I just kind of get a feeling there could be a reuniting, a reunion, or just making things better in the relationship you're currently in. Okay, and really maybe trying to make a commitment with someone, even though for some reason, it's you may not just have commitment issues. It may just be a difficulty in deciding whether to commit to this person again from your past or with someone new okay um, doesn't necessarily mean this is not a major arcana card these cards can be changed anytime so it doesn't necessarily mean it's going it's just the root of your reading for those of you listening it's like you know you are aware of this that's happening in your life right now and it's you know why you're listening it's something to do with commitment issues okay Scorpio so I think I can end it there. I don't think I have anything else to say because I said it all in the beginning. But real quick, if you do book a reading with me, please remember that the reading that you book is not for that day. Okay. And all the information is there that you will need. So I hope everything works out and you have a beautiful rest of the month. And I hope my camera will focus later. And um, I'm getting ready to close it. So I don't know why I'm fixing it. Thanks. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay. Bye.